Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, we are in the kitchen, which means we're making soap. And I have already added my lye water to my hard oil, so I'm just letting those melt. You guys know that that takes a few minutes to let those melt down. And once that gets melted down, we'll put in the olive oil and get this this video going. I'm gonna let that sit for a minute. But I'm going to show you what we're doing today. I was sent, graciously sent, um, some samples from Be Scented to test. So I'm doing three today. They are one ounce bottles. I'm not going to use the full one ounce um, from my calculations. They wanted me to use 5%. 5% is just a hair bit less than one ounce for what the batches I'm making. So the first scent is going to be Bally Mango. Then a yazoo or yuzu and pomegranate mango. So all three of these are fruity. I am going to use these little individual soap molds because it's not going to be a very big batch. I'm going to do one bar completely uncolored, nothing in it other than kale and clay. I'm not putting silk in this batch because these are test batches and I'm not using my I'm I'm not going to use my silk in these. Um these will probably be to be given away as samples or just freebies or to family or I will use them myself. These are test batches. Um, so I got these individual trays. I got three of them so I can pour one uncolored and then the rest will have one color and some titanium dioxide in the batch. So that's what we have is this trays. This still does have milk in it. I have it sitting here. It still has kale and clay in it. It has everything but the silk. I have a three fragrances. I'm going to start with the Bally, which is going to have blue in it. And I'm going to go ahead and get my fragrance measured out for this one. It's a little bit less than a full ounce. See what I'm saying? I mean, I could probably go ahead and just put all that. I might as well just put it. I'm, I'm putting it all in there. Because <laughs> this is a little over a pound. Yeah, that's. I'm measuring out 0.8. So. So there's that measured out. I'm going to set my scale up here out of the way. And this is melting pretty good. So once this is melted and everything is incorporated and I'm ready to split it into threes. I'll bring you guys back. Okay, all the oils are in. We are about where we need to be. So I'm turning you guys around here a little bit. And I'm adding in my cream. This is my usual soap recipe. Um, just minus the silk. Okay, so I'm going to divide this off into threes now. I see I have a scale. So I'm going to do about, I think it said 13 ounces. what I measured it out to be. There's 11. There's 12.5. We'll go with 12.5 and go from there. Tear. See what we got. Make sure I'm measuring this right. point five so there is my three batches okay I'm gonna set these two over to the side and we're gonna work with this one and I really would like something solid to set that on I used to have an old cutting board 
and I don't know where it's at. So I'm gonna use, will it sit in this tray fine? Yes, it will, okay. So I'm gonna put in my fragrance oil. I'm going to mix it by hand first. You guys can see down in there, Let's see what it's doing. I don't see any rising. A little bit you see floating around is Kaylin Clay. No rising. I'll keep mixing that real good. Okay, get my Just gonna give it a light buzz. Make sure everything is incorporated. Seems to be behaving really well. Okay, this is Bally because I was gonna do the blue. Yes, this one is Bally. Still behaving really good. I'm trying to see like it's going to accelerate really fast. But so far looking good. So I'm going to pour off one. Just a natural soap. My kitchen is unlevel, so you know she is what she is. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide. Still behaving nice. You're starting to get a little bit thick, but nothing crazy. Going to pull this over here. I'm trying to get the set up in the jug. Okay, there we go. And then I have some bee scented blue skies is what I'm going to mix a little bit of this in with and we'll pour the rest of the bars with some color. To see how they do with color. See if it morphs anything. Stirring this up in this little bowl because I knew it wasn't going to be much soap. That is blue scars. Okay, I think that's doing really good. She's still behaving. And then I'm just going to do some over here on the side over here some over the side over here and there's a little bit of blue still on the bottom there get that all mixed in a little bit over here i'm gonna get all of that out okay and then i'm just gonna pour no, I'm not going to swirl it. I'm just going to pour it like it is. What we get is what we get. This one. Some will have more blue. Some will have more white. Two. So I think that is perfect for four bars. And 
Pretty much, yeah. Trying to get it all out. Okay, so there is that one. And I'm just gonna give this a tap and we're gonna take it to the laundry room. All right, guys, next soap. <laughs> I don't have another empty tray. So these will probably sit here till they harden up a little bit. Next bucket, I wanna do the pomegranate. And the pomegranate, I'm using light rust. So I am going to buzz. My blender off a little bit there. So the uh, fragrances are not like melding together. I'm gonna clean off my spatula and just use the same spatula. No point in messing up a ton of dishes if you don't have to. Okay, she's still pretty fluid. So this one is pomegranate and mango. I'm gonna add the whole thing. And we're gonna see what happens. Sit you up here out of the way so people can see. Right now I'm just hand stirring. She looks like she's doing good. You gotta see down in there. Oh, that smells really good. Okay, it's done great. Nothing crazy going on. No seizing, no accelerating so far. So I am going to give it a buzz with the blender here just to make sure all that's incorporated. Burp your. She's starting to get a little thick, but she's been sitting for a minute, so. It's the same thing with this one. One is going to be natural. And then titanium dioxide. Trying not to get my cord in my soap. This one, take a little bit of the soap. Actually, give me my spatula. Make sure that's in there really good. Nothing crazy happening. Same thing, I'm gonna mix some of the soap in with the color. Me a little spoon. Okay. And once again, we're gonna pour over here, pour over here, and pour some over here. Break this out. If you wonder where I got these little these little cups, I'm pretty sure I got them at Dollar Tree. They're fantastic for soap making. All right, same thing. So I might give this one a little swirl. I'm gonna 
I kind of plop it in each one like that so not all the color is in one thing. That one's pretty full. It's smelling so good in here. Got a little extra. I mean, I don't want to like just put it down in a little blip there with but I don't want to ever fill my containers either they're gonna pitch a fit when I try to move them so there's just a little down there by itself okay so same thing we're going to buzz the blender <laughs> to clean off my spatula. And that one is done. Last one is Yazoo. So I'm going to try to scoot it up here. Oh, I got some titanium dioxide on there. No big deal. It'll come off. All right. Next one is in the big bucket. And this one feels like it has a lot in it. So I'm going to add all of the Yazoo. Yazoo's going to be yellow. I want to hand stir this first. Yeah, she's starting to get a little bit thick, but that's just because she's been setting. Oh, that smells good too. Okay, nothing crazy happening. Can you guys see that? Nothing crazy. All right, so I'm going to hit it with a stick blender. Just a second. She is starting to get a little bit thick, but she's been sitting. Oh, she smells so good. What is Yazoo fruit anyway? Does anybody know what a Yazoo fruit is? Do you know what Yazoo fruit is? Just want to take a little bit this maybe a little bit more okay and this is goldenrod from be scented the um pink that i used is light rust from be scented and i'll show you those here in just a second spoon oh that is a good like banana pudding color <laughs> okay and over here over here over here get it all out <laughs> you want all that soap out of there Okay, last mold. All right, guys, last mold. I promise I ain't going to give this a little bit of a swirl. <gasps> I didn't do the plain color. Shannon. Okay, my bad. Well, 
and I didn't do the um, titanium dioxide. I was getting ahead of myself. So that this it is what it is, children. It is what it is. It's natural. We'll see if it turns. Yeah, this one had more batter in it, so that's okay. Oh, that smells so good. Well, I know this batch gets... Let me count these bars up and I'll tell you how much this batch got. They're all pretty much full on this one. And that is like squeaky clean. Um, okay, so I messed up a little bit on this one, but it is okay. It'll be okay. It is natural with a little bit of color, so I'll be able to tell if it does anything funky with the color. Um, so we got pomegranate mango, Bali mango, and Yazoo. I color coded them yellow, pink, blue. All right, guys, I'm going to take pictures of all these so I can keep account of how the color changes, if it changes. But so far, everything performed, as you saw, beautifully. No rising, no acceleration. Um, we will see if they change any kind of color. But let's pop you back up. But yep, and in here is I used Blue Sky. I used goldenrod and I'll write it on the top so I can just look at the tops and see. And I used light rust from all of them are from Be Scented and all the fragrances are Be Scented. So let's um, see how they do, guys. Let's let them harden up and we'll pop them out tomorrow and see if anything funky has been happening. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm going to go ahead and take these gloves off. I'm done with those for right now. Um, I gotta rinse these dishes and then I'll wash them. I will see you guys later. I, oh man, it smells so good in here. It smells so good up in here. Alright guys, I'll see you later.